Y'all gotta get y'all some this bread fed beef. All right, so I'm not gonna overcook it because I still wanted to have that bite, but these have turned out great. Burgers on the menu tonight. And when I say they're looking good, they're looking good. They're looking gourmet and they're looking good. We have some in the pan now. It's just four of us here tonight. Kanai's at a football game, AC's at a football game. So we have Kamora and Kalina here tonight. And we are having burgers and fries. And it is good. I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. You what? I got clay. You got clay. Look at that burger. I mean, does that and Kamora put a toothpick in it so it can look like, pause that. She put a toothpick in it so it could look like she uh, got it from a restaurant. But that is your mom's restaurant. It burnt my tongue. You want your burger? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It should not be that hot. That look like a good burger, girl. Oh, the lighting. So, these burgers are going to be delicious. This is from our little smoky in here um these are from our grass-fed beef that we got from cindy's farm y'all this beef is so good and the burgers are so big juicy and thick like y'all gotta get y'all some of this grass-fed beef is it good it's good i'm sorry i'm so good about it so I'm about to put my, I wish I had some bacon. I ain't got no bacon, but I'm about to saute me and honey some onions to put on ours. We want some sauteed red onions with our lettuce and cheese and ketchup. And it's just gonna be good. I didn't have sliced cheese, so we had to use this kind of cheese. Uh, let's get the onions. Sauteed onions. And look what they got. Ah! I got bacon. Get some for me, Dad. Can I have some bacon in? And <laughs> I can't get it on, guys. Put him some fries on there. Oh and does that not look good? Okay. Oh, okay. Now we're about to go sit down and eat and watch 911. Catch up on my shows. <laughs> Burger night. It look good, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You say? <laughs> 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 babe, who's best cook in all the land? Him love my cookie. <laughs> definitely had a busy day in the kitchen today we have cleaned the kitchen we have cleaned the microwave we've cleaned the stove 
We cleaned dishes and made dishes, and then we got to go back and clean dishes. But now we're going to go ahead and get dinner started. I have that meat that was marinating. I am going to put it on our grill skillet and make fajitas. I got my peppers, excuse me, onions, peppers, and I am going to whip up some Spanish rice. You guys know my tried and true Spanish rice recipe. I love it. Onions. Trying to balance this with the camera in my hand. This is not the smartest. All right, I have my onions in there. And my minced garlic. Not a tablespoon. Turn my pan down a little bit. Don't want to burn the garlic. Just want to get the smell going. Add a little bit more oil. Well, that's empty. I have to refill that. I can smell that garlic now. Now I'm going to add my cook, excuse me, my cleaned white rice. Clean white rice added to the mix. And this is, uh, well, I can use those tomato paste pucks that we did. Um, however, I'm not going to right now. I'm going to save those. But I am going to use this, the tried and true. I love it. It is the tomato chicken bouillon. So I just add this to it with our chicken stock. I like to brown it up a little bit. Then I add the chicken stock in it. Then our um, cumin and cover it up and cook it. I don't ever measure it out anymore because I make it so much, but I will list the recipe below for you guys, for you to make it. Okay, water, because I don't want to open those broths yet. Try to use those for soups. Now I'm going to add that last bit of cumin. Let this boil and then we'll pop the top on it. While that is starting to do its thing in the bowl, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start cooking our um, meat. Clean. All right, add a little oil to my pan. This meat has been marinating all day long. So our pan is good and hot, and this is our skirt steak from our grass-fed beef that we got. Let me cut that in half. Okay, so I had to cut that in half so it can fit this pan pretty good. I will slice this up. I will slice this up once it's cooked. So I have our skirt steak here and then I have a few pieces of shrimp there too. And I'm just gonna chop that up once it's cooked. Our rice has now come to a boil. So I'm going to mix this and set my timer. And pop a lid. And it has those beautiful, beautiful grill marks on it. Smells so good in here. And we're just gonna have this with some flour tortillas, chips, and salsa. I know the kids not gonna eat the black beans, but we're gonna do some black beans and then um, a little lettuce and cheese. And the peppers and onions. All right, so our steak is done. I'm going to take these off. 
and dice that up. And then I am going to put our little couple of shrimps we got on here in case somebody wants that. Because I needed to get it out the freezer. We just had this last little bit of shrimp that was left. So instead of leaving it sitting in there, add it to the fajita mix. because I'm going to do those onions and peppers after this. All right, those did not take long at all, and they look and smell delicious. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. I'm going to sit that to the side. And they can do some little shrimp tacos or mix it up with shrimp and steak. Veggie to the bones. Yeah. I'm not gonna season these because I still got all of that seasoning left on this pan. Just gonna season that up and then when I am done after I cut everything up I'm gonna leave it on here on low to keep everything warm I thought about making a quick little queso sauce but I don't think I'm gonna do all of that These are beautiful. All right, so I'm not gonna overcook it because I still want it to have that bite, but these have turned out great. I have turned the pan down to warm. Now I'm just gonna cut up the meat and put it back on the skillet. All right, had to rewash those. And always cut your meat against the grain so that it is not all tough and chewy. Cut it against the grain. And now that is looking good. I'll add my shrimp back, a little bit of my steak juices. You ready? <laughs> He's sitting over here in the corner waiting. No, don't put your hand in it. He's trying to sneak a piece. That's gonna be good. Then we got our rice. I like a knife. Look, he already sneaking a, a quick sandwich and dinner is almost done. Yeah. how you this is how you want your spanish rice to come out fluffy all the time i mean it is that is some good fluffy rice babe stop get out the food that's good ain't it I did what? I didn't do nothing different. Is it spicier? Huh? It's sweeter? Oh, I added a little brown sugar this time. I mean, I did the, I did it like that last time with my fajita mix. 
but I did add a little bit more brown sugar than I typically do. I suppose I add like a tablespoon, but I did like three tablespoons. Oh, you <laughs> I'm gonna let them go ahead and eat while I prepare my black beans and corn but this is dinner tonight and our Spanish rice <laughs> My baby ready to eat. <laughs> now do it. is going to be delicious.